So rhythm really comes down to what's called comping. I've mentioned this before, comping, AKA complementing the music, uh, not being too busy, but also not being incoherent or not heard at all. Uh, a great way to comp is to use root third seven voicings, which I've also talked about, as well as just really feeling the music. Um, so lead sheets are a way to allow jazz guitar players and guitar players in general really be free to comp and do what they will and infuse their own kind of playing in a context of whatever musical situation they are in. Sometimes lead sheets will have actual notation where they want you to play an exact rhythm such as this. Or something like this. Maybe something like this. But other times the lead sheet will just have slashes with no rhythm indications, which means you can really do anything you want as long as it fits in with the other instruments. And of course, if you're just playing solo, then you have even more freedom to be creative rhythmically and comping wise. So the way I comp this lead sheet or play through the chords wouldn't be necessarily how somebody else might do it, but here would be my take. So as you can see there, when you're performing in like a solo guitar context, you can take liberties with the voicings that are written. In other words, if it says F7, you could try an F7 13 and a whole bunch of other extensions to make it a little bit more interesting, but always adhere to the music. And especially if you're in a band setting, always be conscious of what is going on around you because that's what the best musicians do, guitar player or otherwise. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson and until next time, keep shredding. Mm -hmm.